en effet, les communautés d'innovation. Indeed, avec innovation communities will be discussed today in partnership with Paris Saclay. This is exactly the topic of our next phase with four guests who are going to join me in a minute for these um, corporations. And people from Quebec will come to the floor with us. We start with Jérémy Hervé, Head of Innovation and Economic Development for the Paris Saclay Regional Development Authority, EPA. Andrea. Andrea, Andrea, yes. Andrea. Rookstool, sorry for stumbling on your name. I have um, seen so many people today. You are head of Continental Europe Development at Lend Lease Group. We're going to explain what it is in a minute. And we will also welcome, I'm going to speak in English. Innovator en chef from Quebec. Hi, Luc. Hello. C'est un plaisir d'être avec vous. Bonjour. Ben oui. C'est en on reste en français, me dit-on. Très bien, parfait. Bienvenue à vous, en tout cas, Luc. OK, so we will keep on speaking French on the floor in English for innovation. And we also welcome Vincent Aimes, who is vice dean in charge of economic development and partnership at the Sherbrooke University online. Also, thank you for joining us. I was speaking about innovation communities. Well, I will start with you, Jérémy Hervé. Um, uh, no, Jérémy Hervé is not online. Jérémy Hervé is with us. I'm sorry, I'm getting a bit confused. This is the end of the day. So, Jérémy Hervé, as I've just said, you are head of innovation and economic development for the regional um, Development Authority, EPA Paris-Saclay, which aims at developing a world rank. Um, economic and innovation place, you want to become number one. Have you done it? Well, the will to create a, one of the uh, first world economic and scientific um, cluster. Yes, this has been done. One of the first objectives was to create a large academic uh, hub that would be stronger, um, including for the uh, Shanghai uh, uh, um, ranking, for instance, this is done because the Institut Polytechnique Hub was created in 2019, and as early as 2019, when it was created, it was uh, it ranked 13th first for mathematics. It's a real success. And Institut Polytechnique has two of its members in the higher education ranking. King classification. So the creation of a significant academic hubs. Yes, this is done. The second objective was to have the line 18 of the Greater Paris underground up until there. And this is underway, as you may have noticed when you came. It is currently being built. It will be commissioned in 26, connecting us to Massite GV high-speed train and to the airport as well, the only airport. Yes, because accessibility is absolutely key. Yes, this is essential. I'm sorry to interrupt you, but in Stanford, Berkeley, I've noticed when I went to the US that it was very easy to access these apps. And Paris Saclay, therefore, is going to have a similar uh, easy uh, access. Yes, we already have a number of possibilities to come here, but we will be 20, 25 minutes uh, from Paris by the underground, not much more from the airport, so it's going to make things so much easier. And a third success indicator is when you have uh, international companies arriving to work with us on R&D, and we have had very impressive announcement. You've heard IBM, Oliba, Fujitsu, Biolabs Global, that is going to arrive with us, working in our labs. Intel also announced its arrival here. So in this respect, it's clearly a massive success. 
So we are quite satisfied. Okay, so those are for the objectives you've reached. Now, if we look at the future in 10 years' time, what are your objectives? Well, we want maybe it will look quite uh, basic, but we want to be able to provide the real estate offer for those arriving, meaning that we want to develop an offer of hybrid real estate offer, something that will be lab or offices, something that can be can change function, and this is something you have to work actively on. And so by 23, Biolabs Global will um, operate a, a new incubators where there will be startups, and there is also 20,000 square meters lab surface that is planned for 25. So new challenges that we are taking in order to offer the spaces that the companies will need wherever whatever the industry the industries they come from the success of an ecosystem that has an international um, uh, reach, if you want, as is, if I may, uh, the case of Paris-Saclay. Um, it is something. What is inspiring for you? What places in the world would you take as a reference? Well, the Silicon Valley is obviously is an obvious ref reference. Uh, it has a number of the ingredients that are necessary for success, but in Boston, also, you have a, a biotech specialized hub. It's very inspiring because they also support uh, companies with a high content of technology rather than what we call the pure digital pure players, as in the case in the Silicon Valley. So, and the Cambridge cluster is most inspiring as well. Okay, Jeremy. And one thing that I believe is what a key to success everywhere is this notion of mix the good or successful mix like a pot, <laughs> if we refer to food that was discussed earlier. A, pot, a melting pot is when you have diversity, uh, various disciplines meeting and working together. Yes, and Alexander is going to love this uh, melting pot food image, but in indeed, we, we mentioned the ingredients. We need uh, talents, we need the uh, brains, we need the technical equipment, we need the number of stakeholders around, but more than that, what is important is to, to make them bond. You don't want people next one to the other. We want them to know each other and to work together as much as possible so as to create synergies and speed up development and innovation. This is precisely exactly what we're trying to do here. Uh, you are head of the Continental Europe Lend Lease Group, and we're talking about, um, we're we'll focus on Mine Milano project. Maybe you could uh, introduce a little bit about Lend Lease Group. Yeah, happy to do that. Um, we are an Australian company, a public company, and we have been focusing our activity <coughs> on very large urban regeneration projects. Um, and what is actually very relevant for us being here, and thank you again for the opportunity, is that over the last five years, uh, every government, every large city is actually trying to organize uh, places where research, innovation, and education come together. You know, it's, uh, we call the, the, the race for talent. So we all want talents to come close to where we are. Um, and I think that's, that's a little bit of what we are trying to do in partnership uh, with the different cities around the world. Mm -hmm. So let's talk about Mine Milano project. What is it? What, what, uh, what is the challenge? The Milan uh, project was the former area where the Expo 2015 happened. So the Italian government invested um, a lot of money in the infrastructure for the event. And we were approached, um, as many others, but we were approached after the event to really work with the government to redevelop some of the area in looking on how to um, create value of the history of that place. Um, and so we started to work with them, and today MIND is in full development. Um, as a scale, it will be a 
a reconnected city of circa 60 to 70,000 people. And it's designed to be, again, a place or ecosystem of a community founded on research, innovation, and education. So there is a research center on genomic. There is a new research hospital uh, just being built. And we are building a, a, a 25,000 faculty uh, with all the five scientific um, uh, you know, uh, faculties, mathematics, physics. So we're really building that base, which here is very present and very strong. Um, but we're also bringing together uh, large corporations, startups, and everything, and the mix that we just, just discussed. So the mix yeah. that is fundamental to, to, to move that energy and that community forward. We guess that there is a, a specific partnership with uh, Paris Saclay, of course. Well, we, we, are, we have started to meet and exchange. Obviously, uh, we, are, uh, we have a public partner, so probably I, it, it's worth saying that in Milan, we have a 99-year agreement uh, with the public partners, who actually is the landowner, and we actually invest and develop and operate that land for the 99 years. Um, so for us, um, getting to uh, know uh, Paris Saclay and the organization was a great opportunity to exchange ideas. Um, we heard before there is a very fast changing environment in innovation. Large corporations are really pivoting to open innovation. Mm -hmm. That means that the space and the places that you are uh, using or you'll be using need to adapt to this new way of working. We heard that we are trying, all of us, to really interpret how to be flexible, fast. Um, real estate is still very slow. You know, to build a building, it takes, if you're good, a couple of years. This company outlook is six months. So whether you're able to adapt and quickly move, you're not able to serve them. So our collaboration and discussions is really about where do we go as a, as a, as a network. Probably the second part which uh, excites me more is rather than seeing each other in competition, which is the natural approach, you know, we're doing a similar thing, I think we have a great opportunity across Europe to actually network all these large and centers to become relevant at the global level. So my view is really more synergies, more exchange. Uh, you know, you have here, and we heard, you know, number one mathematic school in the world. So if we need quantum computing, rather than investing again money in creating an infrastructure there, why don't we partner and we get our startups to work with the clay environment and ecosystem, and and vice versa. We have something that it's stronger there. So. That's our view. That's why we like uh, the conversation. We like the, the exchange that is happening. Mm -hmm. So, um, what I understand is uh, you are a full European convinced, you know, uh, fellow, and, and that's interesting. And of course, the competition. And that's interesting what you're saying about the competition. It's, it's of course a competition, but just to tackle global challenges. You know, we know that uh, Asia, China is very innovative, uh, and other countries, you know, around the world. So. Europe has, uh, has something to say to the world, federating all the, that clusters? Yeah, I think it's, it's it, in my view, but that's, again, it's my personal view. Europe is probably the best position ever to uh, really show innovation going forward. And I, I think it's, I simplify the concept by saying that we are all about, if you think about the three stages, you know, in 1800 we created the industrialization. In the 1900 we created the economy of consumption, we are a market. These hundred years for me is all about the quality of life. Mm -hmm. and, and Europe is where this is actually interpreted at best. So we heard the food, the evolution, the innovation, but everything we do, we do with a purpose of creating better quality of life, better communities and better societies. And where else in the world, this long debate and long exercise of getting many countries together and working together has happened. So I think this is really the heart of the next generation of innovation, which is purpose-driven, will happen. Yeah, it's all about culture. Uh, culture is, right. is, of course, at the heart of, uh, 
It's probably okay. anything. Thank you so much, Andra, for being, uh, being with us. Stay with us, of course, as well as Jeremy. Uh, C'est maintenant le temps de repasser en anglais. Sorry, Andrea. Uh, and we pour rejoindre le Québec. Vous m'entendez toujours, chers amis. Are you still with us? We are going to uh, speak French on the floor now. So, speaking with Luc Sialois, who is Head Innovators for the Quebec region. Do you agree with uh, this definition? At the beginning of February, you announced a new project of creation of an innovation area with various people from research, um, university, and companies. It's extremely ambitious. What are the stakes involved in this project? Can we speak about it? And how is it related to the notion of sustainability? C'est une nation qui, par définition, a toujours été un lieu porte d'entrée, un lieu de, really on, on explore, on, on colonise, on, on, on est une nation qui construit de bâtisseurs et cette réalité-là, elle, elle imprègne tout ce qu'on fait. Le, Canada, les nations nation dans le monde veulent tous devenir la prochaine Silicon Valley, so l'inspiration de Boston aussi, hein, Jérémy nous le dit, Valley, est très Jérémy forte. Et la réalité des bâtisseurs, des nations qui bâtissent, des communautés qui bâtissent, elle, elle est en région, elle est partout ici au Québec, la créativité, est, elle est partout au Québec. Et donc, le projet de zone d'innovation, c'est de faire de cette vallée du Saint-Laurent un lieu d'accueil pour stimuler l'émergence et, la, et, et, et euh, faire fleurir la créativité des Québécois, des Québécoises, des entreprises ici dans des domaines aussi variés que, que euh, le secteur du quantique à Sherbrooke. Euh, on en parlera dans quelques instants. Le secteur des, de la micro, des micro, euh, de la microélectronique à Beaumont, euh, le secteur des énergies propres, des énergies vertes, le secteur de la cybersécurité, la santé. Donc, toutes les communautés à travers le Québec définissent des projets comme ça pour les, sur lesquels ils veulent briller et le gouvernement travaille avec eux pour arriver à créer ces lieux où on travaille, on invente et on vit. Et on vit, on le disait à l'instant, vous m'entendez toujours, Luc, correctement, je voudrais juste m'assurer que la liaison est bonne avec vous. Do, do you hear me loud oui, and clear? Vous avez de m'entendre correctement. I think so. Okay. Euh, en fait, il n'y a pas de retour. Ah, c'est revenu. Il n'y a pas de retour. Si vous m'entendez, Luc, est-ce que vous m'entendez? Luc, c'est vous Oui, super. Alors, je vais okay, vous good. reposer ma question. So I'm going to On parlait juste à l'instant avec Jérémy et Andrea des aspects We culturels, lifestyle, qualité de vie, le bonheur, finalement, hein, de se innover. C'est bien, mais innover, c'est mieux quand on est dans la vallée de Saint-Laurent. Est-ce que vous parliez là-dessus au Québec? Oui, c'est fondamental. Is a place where life is um, agreeable. So we, we pay attention to the details of the daily life. The family with you, Jeremy, stressed the importance of. Travailler, donc de l'immobilier pour travailler, Real et des endroits pour vivre, of des endroits des écoles, offices, but le also bonheur, the presence le of schools, so aujourd'hui dans le travail, well -being dans l'industrie du savoir, in the knowledge industry parce que nos vies que l'on crée, c'est notre futur que l'on crée, c'est le futur pour nos enfants, donc lives, le futur doit absolument être of our lives and the future um, of our children. Je vais passer la, la parole à, à Vincent okay, Aimé, toujours euh, aussi, to depuis Vincent Sherbrooke. Est-ce que vous m'entendez, Vincent from Sherbrooke. Do you hear Très me? bien. Super. Euh, je rappelle que vous êtes vice-recteur à la valorisation et au partenariat de l'Université de Sherbrooke. Euh, quels sont pour vous les, les enjeux de votre côté On parle de communauté d'innovation, d'attractivité, attirer les talents. Qu'en est-il chez vous à l'Université de Sherbrooke Est-ce que c'est une situation à Sherbrooke University Là, par contre, j'ai trop de retours. Oh my God! Donc, I have a, I have a sound okay. feedback. It's horrible. 
uh, I'm, I'm going to try again, <laughs> but it's really difficult. Do you hear me? Do you oui. hear me? Okay, c'est bon. Et donc, okay, euh, I will try. Oui, donc, euh, on a l'opportunité à l'Université de Sherbrooke so d'avoir été à la base de la création des deux premières zones d'innovation. Nous avons la innovation hub that were created, one in microelectronics and the other in quantic. And so we have a deep interest in being able to uh, mix training academicians, students, and the talents we just mentioned earlier, so and creating uh, specific spaces so that people see those places not as a, as a workplace only, but also a place where it is nice to live. Of course, attracting the quality manpower is extremely complex, so the challenge for us is to know whether we are going to succeed in order to sustain the economic growth that is needed in such ecosystems. Un yes, des sujets qui est stratégique et qui aspect, fait justement cette uh, bataille pour les talents, cette lutte uh, acharnée que, que, uh, que mène à la fois uh, les entreprises mais aussi uh, les pouvoirs publics, c'est le quantique. Uh, Est-ce qu'on peut imaginer demain qu'il y ait vraiment des synergies plus fortes entre les différentes pôles notamment entre Québec et la France et l'Europe, pour justement essayer d'être plus fort à plusieurs hubs pour être plus fort ensemble Je suis convaincu on a pu that, and there are various, le, various elements supporting this idea. There are many collaborations between Sherbrooke and French entities. We have two CNRS, French Research National Institute labs in Sherbrooke University that have the partnerships that have been announced last month. We have tight links with many labs in France for microelectronics. It was with uh, the Rhône French region, historically, and for mathematics uh, with Paris Saclay. Sherbrooke and Paris Saclay have, for instance, 10 uh, PhD uh, in common currently. And so it's important that you'd be able to spend part of their training time in each of the hubs. So we think that there are many opportunities in that respect. This being said, the ecosystems evolve differently depending uh, on their respective nous, strengths, local strengths. We are lucky Québec, enough to have a tight relationship with the Ministry for Economy uh, of Quebec, uh, supporting applied and uh, fundamental research. We work a lot with a higher education ministry uh, in Quebec as well. So for all these four aspects, we have huge cooperation opportunities Alors, de, between de our ecosystems. On parle de Québec, right. qui d'ailleurs attire beaucoup de, de jeunes Europe, Européens. We spoke about uh, Quebec, dans, dans les entreprises which actually attracts a lot of uh, students on, on from de, Europe. De, de, de cette, de nos, de nos territoires, we mentioned our territories Est-ce qu'on peut imaginer physically far one from un Erasmus the quelque part? Do you think Pardon, we could create something that is similar to the Erasmus? Sorry for this European reference, but could do we les ingrédients de ce fameux bouillon euh, à succès va opérer, c'est-à-dire des échanges so intelligents, euh, des, des, des talents qui vont résonner sur un, un schéma ensuite semi-fermé et qui vont apprendre et euh, avoir cette richesse dans leur parcours, de naviguer d'un pays à l'autre, une culture à l'autre, de se rencontrer, ça peut faire euh, énormément de choses très bien. Don't you think it could be fruitful? Il est déjà bien présent. Well, this Erasmus, this Canadian European Erasmus, already exists. Yes, actually, it has been developing de travail, on vu for au decades. Nous, We've, we are working nous, together and have been working Paris, together. We come very often at Paris Saclay, we researchers. Façon, we create a lot of connections. We work with startup companies, on technologies, on commercial aspects. We have a lot of elements in common, particularly in really top 
not aspect, particularly when we want to develop new uh, systems, we share the various tasks so as to build together because this is the only way um, on va entendre encore tout à l'heure une collaboration to, uh, montréal hear later on about a new cooperation between Sherbrooke and Paris Cyclés that is going to be built soon but clearly the cultural common points are many and we are always delighted to welcome you citizens you citizens they are our cousins and we open the way to America to them Uh, allez, je vais vous donner uh, le mot de la fin. Okay, je so just, just to conclude, un peu sur if I may, I will, I will give Vincent uh, May the opportunity to conclude au, au, au this roundtable dedicated to Mais global innovation hubs. What is key is French-speaking culture. And French-speaking culture is not necessarily... I think this is something that we can develop between France and Quebec. We can develop various connections, exchanges, and think of how to have a positive impact on technologies, technology development, and imagine a way to innovate differently. And this is a good way to connect all our ecosystems with a les quatre d'être venus so nous parler justement avec euh, beaucoup de bonnes nouvelles. Hein, ça, ça, ça crée beaucoup d'espoir de, euh, et, et, et puis surtout des so choses qui existent. Et ça, on, on a bien compris. Merci encore and, and à tous les quatre. On parle justement de partenariats, de passerelles, de ponts, etc. So, et bien cette scène aujourd'hui de Paris-Saclay uh, well, Spring va servir à, à une annonce. Et une annonce qui va être faite dans quelques secondes. Et j'ai le plaisir d'accueillir Juliane Lucchesi, directeur des partenariats stratégiques. Julie Lucchesi, le CEA Tech, et Frédéric Capmas, coordinateur de la Deep Tech Alliance Paris-Saclay chez Incube Alliance. Euh, Merci beaucoup, Merci. chers invités. Ah, vous pouvez rester, me dit-on, Jérémy et Andrea. Oh, Jérémy et Andrea, vous pouvez rester. Andrea, you can stay, you can ensemble, stay, feel free. Allez, on va rester tous ensemble, je vous en prie. Bienvenue, bienvenue. Alors, je le disais, donc le, là, on va, on va annoncer quelque chose. Hein, We are about to hear a specific announcement in a minute. Um, but Juliane, before that, Juliane, I would like to introduce vous êtes, je uh, disais, both of you. Juliane, uh, directeur as I said, you are head of strategic partnerships at Syntec. Uh, Syntec, not Syntec, sorry. What is Syntec? It's a deep tech, med tech incubator. We've been supporting entrepreneurs in Montréal. In technology for day et Frédéric Capmas, aussi Frédéric Capmas, Deep Tech is also, also something dear to your heart. Yes, I'm from Incuballiance, which is a public incubator at Paris Saclay, and historically we have always Alors, disais, been uh, um, supporting Deep Tech uh, startups. So you're going to announce a partnership, both of you. Can you tell me more about it? Tell us more. Yes, speaking of the historical background, Frédéric and I met in 2019. Nicomba Violence came to visit Montreal. They knew they had been, uh, they had known Centec, the model for a while. So we met in order to share best practices on a number of programs. We mentioned uh, the possibility of our well, cooperation. Then the COVID uh, arrived and slowed down partnerships. Avec l'annonce côté uh, Incube Alliance du Deep Tech Alliance, donc un consortium de Deep Tech, uh, coordonné par Incube Alliance avec des uh, in the locaux, autumn, uh, along Paris with Paris Saclay, Saclay and the SAD, etc. Uh, uh, on last autumn, we've decided to resume our discussions and to an announce our partnership today. What is this partnership uh, about? Uh, when you, you when you met again, when you had a video conference, many, many, many video conferences, but I will. Give the floor voilà. <laughs> to my colleague. Yes, we'll try to do more than video conferences. The first uh, pillar of our partnership was the support to uh, the uh, companies we support, helping them developing in specific geographical areas, creating new partnerships. But for this, we need facilitators that know perfectly the local environment of a given area. 
similaire. Deuxièmement, so c'est vraiment en fait, à en fait, entre nos Secondly, de se between nouer, en fait, dans nos développements, both our incubators, we want cross development because we have common points, but we also have differences, and we belong to fully developing innovation context, and it's important to take everything we can from both our environments, getting out of silos and working in, uh, in cooperation. And the last aspect is in that in order to evolve these companies need to work at various levels, cooperating at the various levels. And it, as it happens, par anticipation, en fait, des grands groupes étaient déjà en fait en collaboration, chacun de nos côtés, et on peut déjà citer par exemple déjà implanté en fait chez eux et qui chez nous euh, Servier, est présent for instance, dans le Deep Tech Alliance, Servi ou au contraire Servi, uh, Thales, is, qui est membre um, en fait d'un Cube Alliance, et qui est Deep également Tech, en fait en partenariat well avec Centec. Oui, exactement, ça fait maintenant trois ans qu'on travaille avec Thales, qui a implanté donc une innovation au Centec, pour une innovation dans le domaine de l'intelligence artificielle au Québec, donc on les aide dans ce sens, et Servier s'est fait deux ans avec eux, pour un peu la même raison. Uh, helping them in developing local, this. Something for Servier uh, that is working on le, medical tech. Je dirais le, le, le rêve derrière votre partenariat et votre rencontre. Well, il y a forcément eu, c'est pour ça que je vous ai dit ce que vous voulez. Il y a forcément un rêve derrière ça. What is a dream? Est -ce que est, uh, the mess be a dream uh, is that pardon, to de le dire comme ça, so, mais une boîte qui so va cartonner dans le monde uh, entier. Are you dans dreaming about ce sera le fruit de ce partenariat uh, Ce sera, ce sera ça, une, peut-être même dix. Hein. Oui, en effet, c'est sûr que le rêve Yeah, ultimately, when you start, when we start a Paris-Saclay Quebec relationship, but what we want is providing a network for the Quebec companies, Quebecan companies, and French companies. But we are, we would like to cooperate with other deep tech hubs in other parts of the world because we want a real global network that is for the dream part. Maybe. I could give an example of something that illustrates uh, the possibility of this dream to come true. We are currently discussing with a deep tech Paris Saclay uh, company, Spinayan, which is spin out of the um, nanotechnology center. We are going to help them uh, next fall. They will come to uh, uh, Canada, but Trois Devers, a French Quebecian startup, came also in France with us, uh, has worked on proof of concept, and we want this transatlantic partnership oui, being reinforced. Un autre exemple, oui. euh, Another example that we have uh, le, le worked on recently, the MedTech and Digital uh, Industries that uh, uh, developed at the national stake, en fait, uh, national, national level, and in order to develop the clinical tests and partnerships, uh, they have been working with Montreal uh, Hospital, and a few uh, weeks uh, back uh, they uh, have uh, created uh, a subsidiary in Montreal and, and they are trying to develop and so Centac is going to meet them in a few weeks time. Fantastic, fantastic. 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 Je parlais d'un Erasmus, je parlais de... Voilà, de, de, de nouer, on, nous so, parlions de we ces liens avec nous, links. Non, ils existent, ça y est, ils sont là, c'est formidable, woven. je crois qu'on peut les applaudir, c'est un partenariat um, qui est chouette, je trouve. This is a ah, fabulous donc, partnership, très bien. Deserves a, a round of applause, well done. Merci beaucoup à tous les deux. Thanks On souhaite beaucoup de succès dans, dans les liens entre Montréal, Paris that, uh, et peut-être d'autres d'autres places. Un grand merci encore une fois. Thank you so much, Merci much. beaucoup à Thanks Luc et à Vincent Thanks depuis Luke le Québec uh, d'être uh, uh, participé well. à, very much for à cette us. discussion et cette annonce de partenariat. Un grand merci. Je vous laisse quitter cette scène car je vais retrouver le village des startups ici à Paris-Saclay avec mon ami Alexandre. Alexandre, est-ce que tu m'entends Évidemment, Marion. Yes, et les annonces que vient euh, de and voir et d'entendre sur la scène heard sont l'illustration parfaite de toute l'importance uh, des rencontres qui peuvent avoir lieu ici à Paris-Saclay Spring sur le village here, des startups uh, où il y a des stands partout uh, here, de, de plein de startups et des exhibitions de sponsors et je suis là sur le stand and de and Servier uh, avec uh, Philippe Guédon, vous êtes directeur du site Biolab à Paris-Saclay vous êtes l'opérateur qui va gérer l'incubateur de startups du futur centre R&D de Servier pourquoi est-ce que vous rejoignez cette 
so why are you joining this Paris Cycling ecosystem? Je dis bonjour à tout le monde. En fait, cette question elle est tout à fait pertinente. Good afternoon, everyone. Very relevant. Because in fact, it formed a six, eight years. Now I need to go back six, eight years. At that time, Servier in Boston was a sponsor for Barry Labs. Now you might not know Barry Labs. This is an American company which has opened twelve sites right across the U.S. and whose primary vocation is to host biotech startups to give them. Du mentoring, uh, enough des salles de bureau comfort, pour leur faciliter uh, l'accélération de leur R&D et in fine l'accélération de leur time to market. market. C'est un modèle qui est so éprouvé depuis 10 ans aux états unis Et ce qui est tout à fait pertinent, c'est qu'après le passage de ces entreprises after, uh, dans les centres uh, Biolabs, uh, il en ressort qu'elles vont gagner uh, en temps et en argent du fait they, de uh, tous les services uh, qui ne sont pas directement associés à la R&D leur sont proposés par Biolabs. Pour compléter success. cette Now, réponse, cette rencontre entre a bit et this, this gap between Biolabs a donné l'idée à Servier has sparked an idea within Servier sur le plateau de Saclay when it moved here de directement to Saclay concevoir un bâtiment to build dédié à l'accompagnement de ces start-up uh, de biotechnologie au sein de leur institut de recherche. To, uh, that Donc process ce modèle particulier par une app adapté au modèle uh, français du plateau de Saclay, Process. Ça nous donne quelque chose d'exceptionnel, so puisque outre l'ensemble des services que Biolabs peut proposer, Among the Bio Labs Servier vient également contribuer au travers de l'arrivée de ses collaborateurs R&D qui vont pouvoir à la demande rendre des services de type expertise, expertise ou consulting auprès de ces start-ups et éventuellement leur donner accès à leur plateforme expérimentale. Encore une fois, l'idée de consacrer que les start-ups consacrent uniquement leur temps à leur R&D et on se that these startups devote all their time to their projects and we do everything else fine, so that they can uh, basically de accelerate the arrival of their products on the market and it obviously it's deleveraging risks Alors, ça, for their investors. All right, that's the model. So, um, and we can see it actually behind you, the building you're referring to. So, how do you do these startups? How do you bring them into Biolabs? Just in a hands-on fashion, what's going to happen when they turn up? Well, what happens? I need to just step back a little bit to tell you what startups are involved. Now, our model isn't an incubator model, not really. We enter into play after the incubation phase, once the company has raised its, its monies from the private or public sphere. Then uh, it needs to produce the goods and say to the investors, look, I can put together the product, the promised product and service. So this is where we're going to step in. So we arrive, if you will, after, directly after the incubation phase. We'll be Alors, reinforcing the value chain for innovation. So, in a hands-on fashion, what we're going to be looking after? Well, when, this, when the startup wants to come into the fold, then we have them contact our uh, safety officer. Donc ça, c'est un salaire en moins pour ces startups. That's obviously uh, a paycheck uh, less for these startups to pay. And the insurance that we offer Donc, for the equipment they're going to be using will be uh, the, pay, the payment footed by us. us. So they can just totally home in on their uh, R&D. We want to offer them, offer them services monitoring services, coaching services. So basically, you want to project them into the BioLab galaxy, hook them up with the 800 companies that currently operate in the BioLab process. Why? Well, because building this community means that this community means that they don't have to reinvent the wheel. And sometimes they're doing things for the very first time. And so necessarily there's a Biolab company that has already gone through that process. So building this community is a source of reassurance for these startups and to get them onto the market quickly and not to fall into the same pitfalls as others have done. So they're not, uh, not lone wolves. They can benefit from our expertise and our experience. All right, so it's an additional platform here at Paris to have all those startups that are going to be growing. They've developed a little bit, as you said, and they've gone uh, up a gear, if you will. Now, this may be of interest to some startups who are ready to get the Spring 50 awards. So now we're going to be knowing which startups have won the pitch contest. Marion, over to you. I'm going to be leaving the Innovation Village to join you very quickly on the roster. But straight off, over to you. That's exactly so. Thanks very much, Alexander. I'm here in the auditorium at Paris Saclay for the awards ceremony for the Spring 50 contest that... Uh, 
you brilliantly uh, managed with me. That thing that was very dynamic. Three minutes each, that was the pitch for each uh, company, for those who are joining us for the first time. It was a bit of a challenge. Here are the categories. Green Tech. Green Tech. Now there's how to innovate for Green Solutions. Green Solutions. Mobility was the second category. Five startups join me uh, to pitch à la mobilité. Uh, Il y a eu aussi that. La catégorie, uh, Third category was numérique, uh, digital technology, uh, technology numérique, uh, au sens large. in the broader sense of the world, uh, biotech, and biotech, un grand, uh, sujet science, aussi, and health, something we talked about uh, uh, in a panel discussion, and then food tech. Tout, uh, tout you heard that uh, uh, de, de in the last 50, round uh, of pitches, pitch, la food tech, comment innover dans, food tech, uh, how to innovate comment aider aussi for les fermiers, les producteurs, les, euh, les, euh, les personnes qui cultivent la terre farmers, à mieux s'équiper, notamment who are tilling the ground, how they can better equip themselves with robotics and what have you. All right, then, so who's going to be the winner in each of these categories? This is what we're going to learn uh, alongside Alexander. Uh, after the, uh, what has de, been jury, handed down by the panel. Uh, uh, so we have a, a representative Montréal from uh, uh, mobility, Moiré, Virginia Moiré RATP, from RATP, who will be making uh, the mobilité. award for the mobility nous prize. We have la, also la for the technology, technology, digital technology Imbert, category, Frederick Ambert, who is a member of the executive committee of Diracom, who will be awarding that uh, award la and santé, biotech santé, ce sera and Catherine health, George Catherine George from uh, Paris Sackley, uh, uh, rep who represents Lipsen. And then food tech, uh, the la Thompson, last category will be Sarah uh, Thompson Danone Research, from Danon Research. She'll be uh, making that uh, award uh, for de la food tech the food tech uh, category. So, for the last five years, we've been holding this contest and we'll be addressing ourselves to the 2022 edition after the jingle.